biggest factor uh, we talked about is we keep saying Nova Scotia. What about Migamagi? Yeah. Don't our people in Quebec, PEI, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Boston, Maine, shouldn't they be protected with the same treaty? Because I have family in um, Metabinagia. Why is it that we're looking at this Nova Scotia? And the second part that I have to ask, uh, my next question, why are we limiting our rights to only the parameters set up by the Department of Indian Affairs where our status or our rights are only applicable on reserve. Why can't they be extended beyond that? Since what you had said earlier by Ola about how we are entitled to the land. Now I say again, let's go to whole Migamagi, not just Nova Scotia, not Unamagi. Make it extensive, make it all inclusive, so that all our people, whether they're on reserve or off reserve, have the same rights and privileges as we do on reserve. We should not restrict ourselves, I believe, by the definitions of the federal government or by any chief and council. Because I don't believe any chief and council or grand council for that matter, or any lawyer can negotiate my inherent right as a Mi'kmaq person. And I believe this process is going to be a long, arduous exercise for everybody. Because there's so much at stake. <coughs> if I want to cut down a tree that I need, it's in New Brunswick. Am I protected by that tree? <coughs> because we don't have cedar trees in Cape Breton. Or if I have to gather ashwood in Maine. Or it's the whole treaty process, a futile exercise. That's going to end up the same way the Jay's Treaty ended up. Only applicable in the States. So with that, I'm just going to leave you with that to answer to the best of your ability. Thank you. said that myself many, many times. And uh, we, in, in, in New Brunswick, and in Prince Edward Island, and in Spain, they are in the same process as we are engaged in now. But what we do is we're meeting, we're meeting uh, the, the groups, all of our, all these groups like Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI, and, the, the negotiators over there, we all get together and we meet and we share because we, we have, as you say, we have the same rights. We're all, uh, we're all, we have our rights all come from the same treaties and this, when we're all big up, big up people, most of us. And uh, so we are working together and if there was a way we could do that, Maui Omi, bring, bring everybody together you know, it would be a wonderful thing. And maybe someday it may come to that. I don't know. But right now, it's, it's the way it is. It's Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. We're divided by, by uh, provinces. And, uh, that, and, you know, that's not, that's not our fault as being our people. But uh, certainly, I think if there is a way Maybe someday we will. We want to restore our Mi'kmaq nation and Maui and, and whatever. And maybe this is the time to talk about doing that. Because if there's a way, I think everybody would, everybody would embrace it. 
because that's my, you know, I've always thought that myself. But, you know, I think what you say has a lot what, of... Um, lots of what if, maybe, in the future, good idea, possibility, nothing concrete.